Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. And welcome to today's discussion, eight ways to get more Google reviews in 2023. We have an amazing discussion plan today with some really insightful and actionable tips that hopefully, that hopefully you can use to help drive more Google reviews to your business. Uh, my name is Justin Meredith, and I am one of the digital marketing specialists here at BirdEye. And my name is Lauren Schwab. I am also one of the digital marketing specialists here at BirdEye. Um, and just like Justin said, we have an amazing discussion lined up for you today. Um, but before we jump into it, we, we need to quickly go over the webinar dashboard and a little bit of housekeeping. Um, so if you're looking at your dashboard, you see a variety of windows. Feel free to move those around, customize the layout, whatever works best for you. Um, and I do wanna encourage you guys to ask questions. So if you think of a question at any time, just drop it in that Q&A box um, and then we'll get back to you during the Q&A section. Um, so we'll highlight that box for you now. And if you guys want to join us for the next webinar, um, the AI revolution, how to stay ahead in a changing landscape Feel free to register by clicking on the link in related content. Um, so we have a ton of helpful content available in this section and um, we can highlight that for you now as well. Well, great. Um, that is all the housekeeping I have for you today. Um, so let's jump into the webinar. Justin, do you mind running through our agenda first? Definitely. So today, first off, we're gonna talk about the impact of Google reviews in 2023. Then we're gonna go over our eight ways that you can bring in more Google reviews. And you know these tips will not only help you bring in more Google reviews, but also help you establish a consistent winning review management strategy. Then uh, to cap things off, we're gonna look about how you can make this, this you know, push these tips into practice really easily uh, and you can make review generation and management a breeze. Then we'll wrap things up with a Q and A session. So please remember to submit your questions in the Q and A box and so we can get to those uh, or at least as many as we can. And if not, we're gonna try to have somebody reach out to you afterwards with, through an email uh, with an answer to your question. So let's get the ball uh, rolling. Lauren, do you want to kick things off with our first item on the agenda, the impact of Google reviews in 2023? Yeah, let's start off with something that we all know. Um, everyone reads Google reviews and this makes it a huge part of really any company's online presence. Um, in fact, 77% of consumers say that they always read reviews when shopping online. Um, so while that's a huge percentage, what is the real impact of these Google reviews? Well, to put it simply, um, they provide an, a social proof that others are actually, you know, finding your business trustworthy through their own experience. And with this honest and kind of impartial feedback from your reviewers, when prospective consumers read those reviews, it allows them to feel more confident in making their informed decisions. Um, and in a recent study, nearly 49% of people actually say that they trust consumer reviews just as much as personal recommendations. So this means the more positive reviews you gain, the more trust you develop, which contributes to revenue growth. But this is only really a fraction of how Google reviews impact your business. So Justin, can you also walk us through some additional effects? Yeah, definitely. So what another thing that makes Google reviews so valuable, especially Google specifically, is that they help you play a key role in your SEO. And, you know, essentially they help determine where your business shows up in what's called the local map pack, which is that that three pack in, next to the map that you can see on your screen there. And the local map pack is really one of the most valuable pieces of real estate on the internet. Uh, it shows up as the number one search result in 93% of all local searches. And not only does it show up at the top, but it also generates some serious engagement. 44% um, of users click on the local map pack when searching for a local business. And the best way to show up at the top of the local map pack is to bring in a high quantity and a high quality uh, amount of reviews. So now let's talk about how to start generating that higher quantity of high quality reviews uh, with our eight tips that we have here today. And the first thing, the first thing that you should be doing 
is asking all of your customers for a review, every single one. And the reasoning behind this is pretty simple. The more people you ask for a review, the higher chance you have of receiving one. Yeah, Justin, that's so true. Um, and you know, the one thing I, I wanna add is just based on research that BirdEye conducted, we've actually learned that 12% of consumers will leave a review every time they're asked. And then another 35% leave a review at least half of the time. So let's look at it this way. If you bring in 100 customers a day and you ask every single one for that review, you can expect a minimum of 12 reviews a day. And even if you request, you know, and even if you are requesting from all of your customers, your, your chances are only going to increase. So if you think about it, it's really just a numbers game and you can only improve it by asking everyone. Um, which brings us to our next tip, which is make it easy for your customers to leave a review. So if you're asking your customer for a review without, you know, a solid process or those, those accessible links, you're essentially asking them to pull out their phone, go to Google, search and find your business, and then also make sure that it's the correct location, navigate to the reviews tab, and then go through the review submission process. So guys, that's six steps that your customer will have to take just to leave you a review. And honestly, it's kind of a burden for the customer. Um, and you know, the key is to actually eliminate the amount of work that your customer has to do to leave you a review. Um, you can do this pretty simply just by sending them a direct link, um, taking out most of those steps via text or email, and then that takes them to your Google reviews page. So this, this definitely reduces those steps and then is only gonna increase the chances of them actually following through and completing that review that we want. Yeah, that's a great point, Lauren. Uh, anytime you can remove friction between the customer and the review, that is the way to go. And so to piggyback off that, uh, our research is showing that text review requests that are sent via the BirdEye platform have a click-through rate of 32%. That's one in three people who receive a text review request will click the link and go to the review site. Um, that's a really, really high success rate, or at least to get people to that point. Um, and emails from the BirdEye platform are similar with a 69% open rate and a 22% click-through rate. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, texting and emailing review requests are only going to increase the odds um, of your success because they won't have to do all that work that we talked about just to leave you one review. Um, so now, can we take it a step further with our third tip, um, which I believe is personalize your review requests? Yes. Um, so make them feel, you know, more than just a number, like more than just a number. Um, you can do this by adding details like their name, the location, um, and then even your name to kind of give them that impression that you're personally reaching out to them for feedback. So adding these little details can just, you know, further develop that customer experience, which is going to lead to increased engagement and then the willingness to actually leave that review. Yeah, exactly. And so... But you know, it's really interesting because right now, what we're seeing on our end with the data that we've been able to look at, the length of customer reviews has shortened over time. And this isn't ideal because we want customers to provide details of their experience and trigger some of those keywords to help your search ranking. And that's why carefully crafting the messaging of your requests to encourage your customers to elaborate is so important. And you can do this by asking them to describe the thing or the, the product, the service that they purchased. Um, asking, ask them to describe the atmosphere of your business or, or maybe the experience that they had with your staff. Um, this gives them a specific direction to write their review, um, which hope, which you know, ideally will help them elaborate a little bit more as opposed to we just like your feedback because you know now they have to think about what feedback they want to leave. But if you give them that direction. Uh, it'll encourage them to kind of elaborate a little bit more on that specific detail. So carefully craft and personalize your review requests. Now, our fourth tip of the day follows that similar kind of psychological approach, and that is to mention a review to your customer before sending them the request. Um, mentioning leaving a review before texting or emailing them subtly plants that idea in their mind. It's kind of like a subliminal message in a way. 
Um, but basically, by bringing up the idea of leaving a review before sending the request, that customer, well, it's just it's a little, it's just psychology because they'll just start thinking about it. And they'll start thinking about what they would say in their review, even if they weren't even planning on leaving one. The fact that it was brought up now has kind of the wheels turning. And so, you know, they'll eventually get to a point where they're like, yeah, well, how was the service? You know, they were really nice and the food was great, but, you know, it took a little while. The wait was kind of long. And so before you know it, they've already written the review in their head. And so you just have to follow the previous tip and make it easy for them to leave one and just get them to type it out. Yeah, Justin, and that actually reminds me of a recent episode of our Reviews to Revenue series. Um, so if you recall, we had a guest speaker that provided a great example of this. Um, he mentioned that they doubled their reviews just by you know adjusting that timing and then the cadence of when the review was sent out. I'm sorry, review request was sent out. Um, so guys, you know, don't be afraid to make those little adjustments and don't be afraid to give your customers a really easy way to get in touch, um, which I believe brings us to tip five. Um, and that is you want to make it easy for your customer to contact you directly. Um, and the reason why is it's so, why it's so beneficial is because it demonstrates that you're willing to be transparent and you're, op you're open to listening to their feedback which in turn can definitely proactively resolve those complaints. Um, so additionally, it also provides it, you know, an unsatisfied customer, customer um, the opportunity to actually provide that feedback in private rather than them posting their frustrations publicly, which reduces the chances of your ratings taking a hit, um, which I think we all are, that's our end goal. Um, so to make this process a little bit easier, BirdEye provides the option for frustrated customers to contact you directly through a specific link. And this link is included in all review requests. So while it might not lead to more reviews, it will definitely help you, you know, efficiently handle those negative ones and protect your online reputation. Yeah, and speaking of handling negative reviews, uh, and I think I, I even see a couple of questions about this. Um, the best thing that you can do to minimize their negative impact, first and foremost, um, is to respond to them. In fact, you should make it a point to respond to all of your reviews. And that's actually our sixth, sixth tip of the day, and it's respond to all of your reviews. Um, responding to reviews shows that you value your customers' opinions and are committed to providing excellent customer service even after the purchase. Uh, further, and this what this really does is that it builds that trust and further develops that relationship that you're trying to establish with your customer, um, which hopefully leads to customer loyalty because customers go back to the businesses that they have a relationship with. And responding to negative reviews allows you to address any issues and resolve them, which, and we've seen this happen quite a lot, um, it can help turn an unsatisfied customer into a satisfied one. And it, it, it's even led to you know, that unsatisfied customer changing their review, you know, updating it with like, hey, I got in touch with the business. They helped me out. They solved my problem. This is great. And it could even, you know, uh, uh, result in them changing the star rating of your business. Yeah. And lastly, it shows that you're transparent too and accountable for any issues that may have occurred. And it shows that you're willing to address them and resolve them. And this is really, really impactful um, in the minds of the other people who are reading the review. And your response prevents that negative review from just floating out there on the internet without any context or explanation. Yeah, definitely. And you know, guys, for those who have a large company with a ton of locations, we know it can be extremely time consuming to actually go through every single one of those reviews for every location and respond to them. So to help with those negative reviews, BirdEye actually can, um, you can set up alerts that allow you to you know, promptly respond, resolve any of those issues. And then on the other end, for those five-star reviews, you can create um, response templates and automations that not only trigger review requests, but also send them too. So um, let's talk a little bit more about automation. Um, you, you know, as your business grows and you establish more locations, managing on your online presence is only going to get more complicated. So automating those parts that you know of your review management strategy 
is going to save you a ton of time and then also reduce those headaches that we were talking about earlier. Exactly. Um, automation is making sure that every single customer is getting a review request. And you do that by integrating your review system with your customer management system, your CMS. Uh, and this assures that every single customer gets a review request at the right time. Um, whether the right time is following an appointment, a purchase, or really any transaction that's relevant to your business. Um, and I wanted to go back real fast because I did see a couple of questions about the handling negative reviews. And I just wanted to encourage everybody to check out the Reviews to Revenue Masterclass series. It's a four-part webinar series that we did late last year. And it really does a great job of breaking down how to handle negative reviews, increasing your online reputation management strategy as a whole. Um, and I saw, I saw the question there and I was like, oh, that would be perfect for them uh, to, to check that out. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but Getting back to tip number seven, using automation, automation ensures consistency. You might be fine with requesting reviews from all of your customers for the next week or a month, but what about six months from now or even a year? Are you able to consistently make sure that all of your employees are asking all of, the rev all of your customers for a review? It gets really, really messy and difficult to manage with just manual processes. Um, especially as your company and your the number of reviews you bring in increase and grows, especially if you have you know 10, 15, 20, 30 you know locations to your business. So look for the areas of your strategy that you can automate. It's going to save you a ton of time in the long run. Now uh, we're going to keep the ball rolling and we're going to move on to our eighth and final tip of the day, and that is to use your mark your reviews as marketing material. As marketers, we should look at positive customer reviews and testimonies as marketing gold. So earlier in the, in, the, in the discussion, we talked about the value of Google reviews and the sort of impact that they have. But that value carries over to other channels of your business as well. Um, I encourage you to post your reviews on your website, promote it on social media. Heck, you know, <laughs> I think there was even something about uh, the, like a QR, QR code in the questions. Um, print out a review and put it up on your window. Um, it means one thing when you talk about how great your business is, but it's a completely different level when other people are backing that up. Um, so get creative, find ways to use your reviews as marketing material for your business, because that influence and the impact of somebody else saying how great your business is just carries so much weight in the minds of prospective customers. Now, with all of this talk around Google, um, I just wanted to point out that BirdEye has been granted a uh, access to a special private API that allows us to help our customers get Google reviews extremely easily. So in addition to our partnership with Google reviews, BirdEye also integrates with Google across six different integration points, um, such as your Google business profile. So you can manage every location, no matter how many you have, um, all from one place. Uh, the next is with your Google Business Pro, uh, Messages, which helps you convert prospects into customers right from Google Search. Uh, your Google Knowledge Panel, which increases your online visibility when someone searches for your business. This is a really cool section. It's like an extra piece of internet real estate that you get to feature of your business. Uh, your Google Analytics, which helps provide rich customer interaction data. And it helps you make better decisions and it makes you make better you know, decisions on where, you know, how you want to move forward with your online strategy. And all of the Google Analytics data can be accessed from BirdEye for all of your locations. It's all in one place. And it's in, you know, the platform makes it really easy to digest that info too. Because if anybody here has spent time in Google Analytics, you know how uh, dense it can be. And you can eventually just kind of, it just looks like static because there's just so much there. Um, we also, you know, the integration also covers Google Maps, which ensures the information about your business and all of its locations is always, always accurate, which is really, really crucial when it comes to Google Maps. Um, and then lastly, with your Google seller ratings, which helps you improve the click through rate of your paid ad campaigns, um, which actually reduces the price of them as they get more effective, which gives you more bang for your buck. Now, all of this allows you to track and manage all of these areas for all of your locations in one easy uh, platform, but that's just the Google stuff. Our platform integrates with, I believe it's uh, 250, uh, what, over 250 sites across the internet, ensuring that you have a complete view of your business's online reputation. 
Um, and I'm not, I want to, I need to double check that number. It could be even more than that now. Um, but the last, last I remember, that's what we were at over 250. Um, and, uh, Lauren, I wanted to, I want to pass this back on to you. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add on? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Justin, to add the, to these Google partnership capabilities, which are incredible, BirdEye recently launched BirdEye Social and BirdEye Appointment. Um, so for those who don't know, BirdEye Social makes it super easy um, to scale that social media for all of your locations. Um, and they have some powerful tools like bulk publishing, brand monitoring, and reporting. So you can make social media management super easy just you know, from a single dashboard, which I've got some experience with and is incredible. Um, but one of my favorite features of this is our visual editor. It makes it super easy to instantly share those five star reviews on your social account. So like Justin was saying, you know, printing those off, putting them on your window, you can also put them on your social media pages. Um, and then, you know, after that consumer sees your stellar customer, um, you know, online presence and engaging social posts, our modern scheduling tool, which is bird eye appointments, gives customers a way to, you know, effortlessly book time from your website your Google page, social media, and via text. Um, and we actually do have a great webinar over bird eye appointments coming up. So if you're interested in that, um, just let us know in the chat and I can get the link over to you guys. Awesome, that's huge. So it's not just reviews, but reviews, referrals, managing your listings, texting, emailing, social media, appointment scheduling, and even payment processing is all under one roof, which is just, it just makes things a lot easier when you don't have to be bouncing around to all these different platforms and profiles and things like that. Being able to manage it all in one place makes it a lot easier as you scale and grow your business. Now, before we jump into Q&A, let's quickly go over the eight tips that we've covered today, just in case anybody came uh, late or missed one. Uh, and so the first tip was ask all of your customers for a review. Um, the more people you ask, the higher chances of receiving one uh, you have. The second tip was make it easy for your customers to leave a review, reduce that friction, um, and eliminate as many steps as you can uh, for them to leave a review. And the third was personalize your review requests. Uh, this helps further build that relationship with your customer uh, and you know increases you know their engagement with you and your brand. The fourth tip was mention a review before sending the request and kind of plant that uh, subliminal 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 message uh and um you know get the kind of get their brain working on a review before they even get the, the link to leave one the fifth tip was give your customers a way to contact you directly um this shows transparency it allows you to solve issues it allows you to take uh potentially negative issues offline um and it just gives your customers one extra avenue to work with you and our sixth tip was respond to all of your reviews. Um, you want to show your appreciation to the customers who left you a positive review, and you want to make sure that there are no negative reviews just out there floating all by themselves. Um, something that I've said, or that we, you know, that we say in a lot in our webinars, is the worst thing that you can do, or the or the, or the, or the best way to guarantee that a negative review hurts your online presence is by leaving it alone. Um, and our seventh tip was to use automation. And our eighth was use your reviews as marketing material and really squeeze the value out of those customer testimonies. So that was all eight tips that we have today. We have received some questions, so we can go ahead and jump into those. We're moving kind of fast, so hopefully we can give everybody some time back. Um, let's see what we got here first. Let's go. I know